Okay, let's 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 talk about alternate picking. I'm gonna use now Ionian mode, the, the, the first mode. I'll try to play those 18 notes, right? Concentrate only on my right hand, don't look at the left hand, it's, it's not important. So look, 18 notes, 18 motions on the right hand, because it's down, up, down, up. So when I play directional picking technique, I save some motions. So So I play only, I play 18 notes here, but I move my hand only 13 times. So how many motions I, I, I say five. So if, if we put together two people, one person will play directional picking and the other person alternate picking, who, who, who's going to play faster? Obviously if both people practice, right? So I think you've got more chance if you work less, right? because you can get somewhere faster. So that's why it's good to, to, to practice directional picking. Uh, let me quickly explain you, I know some of you had, had, had this topic, but the principle of directional picking, I'll explain you using four notes only of the iron, iron mode. So you've got, in alternate picking you will have down, 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 down. So it's one, two, three, four motions, right? Yeah, makes sense. When I play directional picking, I'd go So down down is actually fall through, it's, it's, it's one motion. This is like my hand is one. But I take two notes. So if I go to the next string, I'm gonna say one motion because of that. And one more, one more, one more, right? So in total I've got five motions saved. So that's why I play faster. So I'm not sure that John would so everything else for yeah. the is the better. Because direction is just at the right time, not necessarily right from the start. Yeah. So a few faces in Europe could have been past, so we should go back. Cool. So, well, so this is the idea. And what not to do when you play directional picking? It's not about moving your pick away from, from guitar. It must be like this. So that's why we need to we need to use this motion, tremor motion. Tremor is the technique, maybe I'll ask uh, Pete. Pete? What? What is tremor technique? Tremolo technique. Yeah, you play it on the mandolin, right? Okay. I need some mandolin play. Oh, I can't get the mandolin. Oh. Like, okay. It's like kind of improvised, you know, unscripted, right? <laughs> but on a mandolin, I think you play like that. Right? But I'm, I'm just curious if, uh, if you use this tremor motion like this. Yeah. So, that, guys, that was, that was good. But, but Pete, in order to play faster, right? You, you, you are not doing like this. You just, you just cut this, you just slice this trick. So, uh... Actually, break for instrument, right? And someone who playing in, it's even better. Like Pete. Right. So is that is that in your wrist you're doing that? Right? Yeah. When I when I pick a single string, it comes from my wrist. So. Okay. Cool. Where's the, where's the motion coming from exactly? Like you might see that I'm maybe doing this, but it's not. Like your hand is not moving like this. The motion is coming from there. Yeah? This is the motion. Because how fast can you move your form to play? I can't even do it from my form. Look, this is as fast as I can go. It's not the motion. The motion is. But don't think that because I'm doing this motion, don't think that it's going to apply moving the pick away from the... It's not. The motion is so small that 
will be able to play this tremolo motion. It's like a mandolin as SSP. To, to study this motion, where, where it's coming from, not from there, not from there, but you are just twisting your wrist like this. One thing, your hand cannot be in the air like that. Look what it implies. I'm, I'm, I'm moving, I'm rising my, my shoulder, so it's, I'm creating some, some, some pains. So, I want to be this relaxed when I play again, like this, right? Very relaxed. And and now my tremor motion combined with directional pivoting. I can actually play faster with, uh, with directional picking, but well, I like playing with directional picking. And, and, and everything is powerful. It's still directional picking, but it's extra heavy, so it's not very efficient, but the speed is not my main thing. Okay, so so it makes sense, right? Not to not to play like this. Right? Just Slice one string, then the other, so like this. It, it's coming from the wrist. And whenever, whenever people uh, play this tremor motion on one string, everything is fine. Everybody can pretty much do it. But as soon as people slow down or get lazy and forget, they start again moving. Notes. So when I play my directional picking, I'm basically, I think, have you heard about thumb muting technique? Have you have had any, any, any thumb muting technique yeah, lessons for some of you? Yeah. Some people are. Okay, I, 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 need, I need Jonathan to, to help me with something, right? Okay. Yeah, um, can, you, can you come here? Yeah. No, don't worry about it. It's like, uh, I didn't plan it, but, but I'll show you something. Something about about about, about muting. Whenever I'm uh, playing, I'm using I'm using this thumb muting technique. So I and I'm going to play, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mute with my thumb. John will obviously show you how to do it. So whenever someone will be nasty to to mute a few my strings, you do like like. whatsoever of any noise occurring in your playing if you're catching any open strings or anything like that. So it's a pretty extreme example of this. Yeah. Although it might happen. So so this this is this is it, you know, this thumb eating technique, this is why it's worth uh, investing your time and energy to learn it. Then apart from that, I'll go back to, to actually the left hand for now. I use my left hand to mute strings as well, especially my index finger. So, like, actually I need to jump again. Like, when I play something, and some horrible person <laughs> tries to, you know, mess it up, uh, my bottom strings are muted with my thumb, but my top strings, that I'm not using, are muted with my index finger. John, do you mind like, messing up? So I try as much as I can. Especially these strings, right? They're muted. It's extremely mm. unlikely to happen, right? Yeah. There's just no chance whatsoever of those strings ringing out. Yeah. So, this is another thing. Uh, so, remember, use as little pick as possible and you start this tremolo motion. The best way is probably to watch Pete playing mandolin. Like he's got some videos maybe about this, maybe not. We we gonna shoot one, right? <laughs> okay, so remember the motion is coming from from the wrist. 
from there. Now, when I change strings, it's not anymore about the wrist. It's more about my forearm. When I want to change the string, I push my forearm down. Have you ever heard about sweep picking technique? Yeah. Yeah? So you see guys here. So the right thing is like that. So when I play sweep picking, you can see my forearm moving, or my arm moving down. So when you change the string, you need to use your arm to, to move your head down. And you just continue this tremor motion, like constantly up, down, up, down, and move it down, 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 down like that. Because the last thing you want to do is to move away from the, from the strength. This isn't good. So you just need to, well, you just need to go like that. Yeah?